10, 9, T, 7, 6, 4, 3, 1, lift off. Parent 1 has cleared the tower. Control maneuver starting. Look at that blue fire! direction over the Atlantic Ocean. Our next ascent milestone is max Q around 80 seconds. Aaron, what is supersonic? Get to one tree switch over at the ground station. Max Q. Indicating Terran 1 just made it through Max Q. We just completed a major step in proving to the world that 3D printed rockets are structurally viable. Up next, we'll be looking for a call out that stage one performance is nominal. Nico and upper stage ignition. This means that we had a main engine cutoff for stage one, and directly following that, we had second stage ignition, which you can see the Aeon vacuum engine in that beautiful view in the night sky. Reminder there is no fairing for this maiden launch as we don't have a customer payload, but we do instead have a memento of the first ever circular test print. Announcement on cat down. This is the LD. There has been a T plus anomaly with stage two. LC, please begin anomaly procedure section 25. Copy. As you heard from our launch director, we did have an anomaly with stage two during flight. But maiden launches are always exciting, and today's flight was no exception. Although we didn't reach orbit, we significantly exceeded our key objectives for this first launch. And that objective was to gather data at max Q, one of the most demanding phases of flight, and achieve stage separation. Today's flight data will be invaluable to our team as we look to further improve our rockets, including Terran R.